Well, what's up guys welcome back to the channel today i'm gonna be doing another tutorial for you guys um today i'm gonna be randomizing pokemon violet uh for the yuzu emulator uh this does work on the nintendo switch but you must have a custom firmware since i do not own a f uh, custom firmware switch i will be doing this on the emulator so i've got yuzu pulled up right here first thing you want to do is you want to right click on the pokemon violet you want to go to dump rom fs and then you want to go to dump rom fs um it'll ask you to select whether you want to do a full dump or a skeletal dump you don't want to do a full dump and uh it takes a second so i will um i will speed the video up through this process and i'll i'll get back to you guys once the uh the dumping is complete All right, uh, once the operation has completed successfully, you can go ahead and click OK. Um, you're going to get a folder that looks like this right here. Um, it'll have all of these um, folders inside the ROM FS folder. Uh, you're just going to want to minimize that because uh, we're going to need that um, later on in the tutorial. So right now you are done with your Yuzu emulator. Uh, don't close it. Just go ahead and um minimize it all right so you're gonna go ahead and head over to this website right here uh gamingbanana.com uh you're gonna want to type in the pokemon primitive randomizer um that'll be the program that we're gonna use to randomize uh the game uh you're gonna want to scroll down to where you get to manual download here um it does say it's infected but i can attest that it is not um infected at all um as i have it on my computer uh so go ahead and download this you just click this and and click download um and it'll be this folder right here um inside the folder will just be this src folder and then the randomizer uh exe um so you can go ahead and minimize that um and then the next program that you're going to need to download will be the trinity loader which that's required to um it's required to load the mods onto the yuzu emulator um so you're going to want to scroll down to the bottom here and click manual download and you're going to want to download this as well um so once you get those downloaded you'll have two folders you have the randomizer folder you have the trinity loader folder go ahead and open this folder right here you'll see all of this all of this stuff right here so what you're going to do so in order to get this to work um, you're going to need this file right here. It is this um, 002 core underscore 8 underscore win 64 dot DLL. Um, I will put the name of that in the description. Just um, copy it, highlight it, post it or paste it into Google. And then it should take you to the, um, the dot DLL website. And then you should be able to download it from there. And then just plop it right in this folder. And you'll be good to go. You should be able to um, to open everything at that point. Um, that that's the only folder required or the only uh, thing required. You might have to download. I um, um, uh, forget what it's called. There is another. I, I had already done it. There is another thing, the program that you have to download for your computer, but it's uh, it's a Microsoft runtime uh, program. That's just required to run certain apps. Um, so once you die, once you get those finished, um, you'll have all this. You can go ahead and minimize that as well. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open your randomizer folder. You want to open your randomizer.exe. It'll pop up this folder right here, and it'll pop up this command window. Don't worry about the command window. This is the um, the actual application that's going to randomize it so randomize spawns uh this so the initials will be random so the issue with this this is your starters the issues with this is you can't see the models neither the names of the randomized ones because it's programmed they're scripted into the game 
So basically, it's going to show you Quaxly uh, no matter what, right? So the only way to determine what starters were generated is it gives you the starters.json uh, file. You can open that and it'll actually give you the national dex IDs of the Pokemon that it randomized it to. And then you could just, if you wanted to, you could just peek, PK hex those guys into your game. And yeah, that, that'll work that way. Um, so um, that's how you do the starter. So uh, if you don't want to go do that other step, you don't have to do that part. Um, so, and then you can do um, a random item on every Pokemon type. So um, this will give you a random item. And if the item is not in the game, then the Pokemon will not have an item. So if your Pokemon does not have an item, then it was given an item that is not actually in the game. This this item, it uses every single item ever from every Pokemon game. So if it if your Pokemon doesn't have an item, then it, it had one that it wasn't uh, wasn't allowed to use in the game. Um, so legendaries can spawn in the overworld like uh, normal Pokemon. Uh, Paradox can Paradox Pokemon can spawn uh, in the overworld like normal Pokemon. So I clicked both of those. That's why you saw at the beginning of the video that um, that Hoopa. So, um, so that's step one. You'll click on step two. This is where you can change the abilities of the Pokemon. Uh, you can change the uh, capability types of the TMs for each type. And then you could randomize the Pokemon's uh, learn set. For example, every Flaycoco will learn Thunderbolt at level 12 if you were to um, randomize the move sets. If you go to three, this is where it gets a little dicey for Yuzu because Yuzu has a problem with uh, randomizing the trainers because it, it puts so much data into the file that Yuzu can't load it. Um, so all the only thing that I did, I kept all the teams the same. I just made it to where all of the Pokemon um, have perfect IVs. So it makes it a little harder. You know, they're not they're not all random, but it, it makes it just a tad bit harder. Um, I changed the shiny rate on mine. You can do it from between zero. They don't have a chance of being shiny in 100. Uh, they have a 100% chance to be shiny. It's just a, a, a percentage there. Um, and then I don't mess with the force evolution. Um, so I, I never use that. All right. And then step four is the randomize. Um, so this guy that created this has only tested it on the uh, Ryu Jinx emulator. So I'm testing it on the Yuzu emulator and it does in fact work. Um, so what you do next is you just hit this uh, randomize button right here. And then it'll do all this and it'll say zip created. So now you know you're good here. You can close that. You don't need it anymore. You got your file right here. That's your file that you need. So what you're going to do now is you're going to minimize that. You're going to open up your Trinity loader. You're going to find the uh, GF tool file system explorer.exe. Gonna double click on that. Let that pop up here. All right, so here's that right there. I'm gonna go ahead and delete that one. That one was from a previous one. It's loading right now because I already have a. Um, so basically, when you when you first start it, it'll ask you for a file type. Um, let me see if I can. Uh, yeah, you can do that. Let's tr let's try to open it again and see if that takes it to where I can pull up the um the actual ROM FS folder. There it goes. Okay. So what we do here is we go to File, Open ROM FS folder. We are going to go to that the the ROM FS folder that it created. Remember this one right here that it originally created. So what you're going to do is you're going to highlight this. You're going to copy it. You're going to paste it in here. Going to search for it. You'll get this folder right here. So you'll you'll paste your the the location of your ROM FS from that previous folder 
that opened up when you first dumped your um your rom fs you'll get that right here you'll click select folder right so now your folders it's loading right now now you can see that it's loading your current folder um, once it finishes i will it's pretty quick so it shouldn't take no time at all all right so once it's finished you go ahead and click add mod and then what you're going to do now is you're going to um, go over to your um, folder for your randomizer so as you can see i got my randomizer folder right here i'm going to go to this to the um to the file um name here or the the i can't think of the address the the folder address pretty much uh, you're going to copy that again you're going to go into here you're going to copy it or you're going to paste it sorry you're going to go into here you're going to click on your zipped file so see it it needs a zip file you're going to click on that zip file you're going to press ok all right so now it has popped up right here so what you're going to do is you're going to click on it click on it again you want this check check mark right here okay so what you're going to do now is you're going to go to the bottom here right here you're going to click apply mods it's going to pull up a thing that says done it's going to open up another folder another rom fs folder okay so what you want to do is you want to click on your local disk okay so it made this rom fs folder what you're going to do is you're going to cut the folder right so cut means you remove it from one place and put it in another place so what you're going to do at this time is you're going to go back to yuzu okay you are going to right click you're going to open your mod location i'll go ahead and delete this one oh i can't because it's in a it's in a um it's open by another source that's fine no worries so what we're going to do is we're going to do a new folder and i'm going to title this one tutor tutorial rando okay tutorial rando right there then we're going to paste the folder that we got right so now we have the tutorial rando and we have the rom fs folder that the program created see all that is in there tutorial rando it's in the folder we can go ahead and close this so then we're going to right click on the game we're going to go to properties there's our tutorial rando We'll go ahead and get rid of that one so we're going to make sure the tutorial rando is checked we'll press ok and we'll run the game depending on how fast your computer this could take a second 